Here is our answers to worksheet one for our margin of error. And this is the answer to question number one. So we've been given an article here um, that we need to have a little read through. And in particular, we've got these the survey results up there, which we'll be interested in looking at. And there may well be some information in the article we want to look at. So let me just go ahead to look at the question itself. So we asked, they said that the survey found 59.2% support across the entire super city for the new policy. So we need to construct a confidence interval and test the claim that most Aucklanders appear to support it. Okay, so that's what we want to be able to find. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go back and because we're looking at margin of error and constructing a confidence interval, we need to find the sample size. So if I read through the article right here, it tells me that there was a survey of 500 Aucklanders. So that's the first piece of information that I need to write down is that I've got a sample size of 500. Now I'm just going to go and have a look at my chart to determine which of the three scenarios I'm in. So I know I've only got one sample size, so it means I must be in one of these two categories. Okay, so I've either got the no comparison one group or I'm comparing within one survey. It's because I've only got one sample size and both of these scenarios have only got one sample size. So let me go back to the question. It's talking about 59.2% support for the no policy. So we're only looking at a single value. We're not making a comparison. So because we're not making a comparison, let me just rub those bits out. So I'm not looking at comparison anymore. Um, that means that I am in this situation here. All right. So I'm going to start off by looking for my margin of error formula, which is this one here, 1 over the square root of n. And then I'm going to do my confidence interval, which is your poll percent, your percentage, plus or minus that margin of error. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I know my margin of error is 1 over the square root of n1, which in this case, 1 over the square root of 500. If I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get an answer of 0 0.04472 and I need to turn that into a percentage so I'm going to multiply that by 100 and that's going to give me 4.47% um, and I'm just rounding this to two decimal places so at this stage two decimal places for a percentage is good if I'm doing it as a decimal um, 0 0.0447 I would be doing at least four or five decimal places back there Okay, so now that I've got my margin of error, now the next part is I need to do the confidence interval. So it's that percentage plus or minus the margin of error. So I'm going to say CI for my confidence interval equals the percentage plus or minus my margin of error. So in this case, we've got our percentage is 59.2% plus or minus our margin of error of 4.47%. And now I'm going to split that into two calculations. I'm going to do 59.2% um, Oh, I'm not going to bother writing the percentage sign at the moment. Take away 4.47 and 59.2 plus 4.47. And notice how I did the minus one first because when I write a confidence interval in brackets like this, it's think about it in terms of your number line, okay, in terms of that number line. I'm always going to put the smallest number and then the biggest number. So 59.2 take away 4.47 gives me 54.73%. Um, and adding them, 59.2 plus 4.47 gives me 63.67%. So in terms of a confidence interval, I've got a confidence interval going between 54.7% and 63.7%. All right, so there's my confidence interval that it goes between that. So that's estimating for from a sample. I'm estimating for the population of all people in Auckland in the super city that the percentage of support is somewhere between 54.7 and 63.7 percent. Okay, so I need to interpret this confidence interval. Okay. 
So um, that's what I want to say, is that the um, amount of support for the um, new no mo policy for all Aucklanders because I'm talking about my population okay so I'm estimating for my population for all Aucklanders is somewhere between Fifty four, oh, not five, 54.7% and 63.7%. Okay, so I've now constructed the confidence interval. That's all good. Now I've got to look at the claim. So the claim is that most Aucklanders support it. So look at that confidence interval. What would most mean? Well, if I would compare it to 50%, all right? So 50% means half. So if we're talking about more than half, then that would be most. That would be the majority. Okay. So in this case, our confidence of the entire confidence interval is above that 50%. So therefore, I agree with that claim. All right. So that's what I'm going to say is I agree with the claim because um, the confidence interval is above 50%. Um, oh, and I'm running out of space there. Um, it's above 50%. Okay, so that is the answer to that question.